Hello and welcome. Today I am installing JES Customs wind deflectors. I'm going to install these on my Indian Chief Dark Horse. Uh, this installation will also work on Springfield. But you can see you've got the deflectors, very brief instructions, and with those brief instructions I was expecting it to be pretty simple. So I recorded this real time and it was very simple. Um, I'll explain a little bit of the approach first and then towards the end of the video I'll tell you what I thought and how how I feel like the deflectors are doing. Um, first on the installation, very easy. There's two simple bolts, uh, one above and one below. This is on, again, this is a Chief Dark Horse. Um, I already had the windshield removed. And so simply taking out the first bolt, to make it easier, I, I pull out the first and I will reinstall the first while doing leaving the bottom in. The reason for that is just so I don't get that uh, Part swinging around that holds the side down that butt and it actually worked out quite easily and was good to do that in fact this video is just over eight minutes long honestly this probably took me a total of 15 minutes and uh, I took a little bit of time because my allen wrench socket wasn't quite a right fit and so it got stuck a couple times in there but realistically this is a, a very simple job and easy to do I did want to show you the full the full part of this because it's just interesting to see how easy it comes together. Now I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the part. This is something that I've been battling a little bit with this. I'm tall, um, I've got the extended reach seat on there now from with a Corbin saddle. That gave me a few inches back, really nice, um, but I was still getting a lot of wind, wind buffeting at higher speeds. Anything really about 50 to 55, I'd start to feel that. So. I got a new windshield, um, did a Freedom windshield that pushed the air up. Um, it's got a flip on the top of it, pushed the air up over my head a little bit more. So that was nice and it did help. So both of those two things, the extended reach seat, as well as the uh, new higher windshield, it, they both were very helpful and interesting for me to do. However, I still notice, especially getting out on the highway, you know, you're cruising, you're trying to make a little bit of ground and um, going through some of those the country highways around where I am, I would get up to 60 or so, and it wasn't unbearable, it wasn't bad, but it just brought in that wind and was a little more than I wanted to, to deal with. Um, and so I've been reading some forums, looking at different things, and they talk about these wind deflectors. And so I thought I'd give it a shot, and I, I'm gonna tell you, I was surprised. I couldn't believe the difference that it made. In fact, um, I, shortly after getting these installed, the sun was going down, so I just went on a short ride, but there's a highway near, near my house, so I took out to there, and it was surprising. I got up to 50 miles an hour quickly, and that thought, okay, I, I noticed a little bit of a difference. I accelerated up to 55 and 60, and I still felt no wind. It was, it was actually really cool. Um, in fact, I took it all the way up to 70, on that highway and still feeling really good. Um, I couldn't believe it, I was excited about that because a lot of the highways that I like to travel are in that 60 to 70 range, mile per hour. And so I wanted to get that back down. So I'm excited about that. I, I did a, a long ride over the weekend and to test this out and you know, in the end, it worked out the same way. But I will give a little bit of a caveat. On the freeway, this is, you know, country area freeway going 80 to 85 miles an hour. Still, still some buffeting coming in. Um, it made it a little bit, well, actually it made it a lot more enjoyable, uh, but it's still shaking a little bit, a little bit of noise, but not nearly as bad as it was before. And so what I did is I went out about 150 miles out, hung out for a little bit, then came back, went out on the freeway. Coming back, I tried to stay primarily on, on the highways. And so I was going like I said, 60, 65, 70 miles an hour. And man, that was just so awesome. It was so much better, so much more enjoyable. And I, I mean, the, these things are great. I, I, I recommend them. I think they're going to be awesome. I don't, I haven't tried them with a passenger yet to see how that feels. I don't think this will do anything as far as pushing wind, more wind back to the passenger. My hopes actually is that it, it uh, makes it a little, little bit easier for my wife to hear me as we're talking, going on the highway. You know, when we're cruising at 55 or so, we're, we have a nice conversation, chatting along the way. But sometimes when we get up to a little bit higher, 
especially if you get up to 70 ish it's it's hard for her to hear me and just not quite as nice uh, and able to have a conversation so um i will say i am impressed i'm excited for these in fact we're, we're planning a trip coming up here go a couple days my wife and i and i'm looking forward to how this will help out and so i'm going to say this is this is one of those products that uh i'm i'm excited to have on here i will show i will tell you i wasn't overly excited about adding something more to my bike i already have the saddlebags that i love have the windshield on and off that i love and on this chief dark horse it is uh, 2016 and so it still has that that beautiful big fairing on the on the front uh, the front wheel i don't know not fairing i'm sorry uh the wheel wells got the big flare on it and i love it and so i thought i don't want to add something that's going to take away and the reality is it hasn't uh, i showed my wife and and she at first looked around and said what did you do she didn't even notice it my son uh, who has fun working with me on some of this stuff sometimes kind of same thing he didn't notice it until i pointed out exactly what it was I did notice they gathered a lot of bugs on the ride, but um, I'm okay with that. I can wipe those off when I get done and get home because honestly, it made that big of a difference. A little bit more on the install. As it, uh, I'm coming up to the end of it. You can see I'm putting in the, the bottom part um, and, and making sure I can get it connected properly, getting everything going, really easy. The one thing that you'll see, and I'll show a close up here in a minute, there, there's a little bit of play in those two bolts in the top and the bottom. And so what I did, I tried to just get it parallel to uh, the mounting bracket, just to make it a little bit easier for determining if it was right or wrong. I don't know the right answer here because it seems like with as small as these pieces are, a minor change in the direction could make quite a significant difference. In fact, if this didn't turn out the way that I had wanted to, I probably would have messed with those. In fact, I intended to mess with them a little bit. And partly why I, I recorded the, the specific piece that I'll, you'll see here in just a second was so that I could see about how I did it. But what I did is I, I leveled them out and I left the same approximate gap on both the right and left deflectors. And you'll see that it, it's, it's an estimate. You know, I didn't get a tape measure out. I didn't measure exactly but I did my best to get it together because I wanted to be able to have something to start with on a straight line. So right here on this close-up, I kept a fairly straight edge and I did the same edge on the opposite side. So that's how I did it and it works awesome, I love it. Here's from the front. You can see, um, looking right at it, yeah, it's there. You can see it, you can see them there. I honestly hardly notice them, and, and it's been only a week since I put it on, and I'm already used to it. I'm going to put the windshield on here so you can see what it looks like, but again, um, so worth it. I'm really excited for my trip now to get out and get a little bit of ground under me without having that extra wind buffeting on my head when I get up higher, which a lot of the country highways have. So anyway, hope this is something that is helpful for you. Uh, I think it is helpful for me if you have any questions feel free to ask. I'll clarify the best that I can. But uh, yeah, this thing is interesting. Again, JES Customs. It's a wind deflector for my Indian Chief Dark Horse.